guys welcome to my channel so today I thought I would check out the Harrods gift shop which is actually looking quite festive even though it's July um, but yeah I thought I would show you guys around I don't think I've filmed one of these videos before so if you're interested in some of the items and I also recently purchased a Harrods tote bag which was quite affordable actually and so far I've been using it to death so I thought I'd do some filming So this just breaks down all the different bags and I'm kind of tempted to buy some more just because I was quite impressed with the tote bag that I got. I'm not sure about this colour though, but again, just to give you an idea of prices, this wallet's £40 and you've also got, this is quite their well-known green, which is £35. Yeah, lots of different bags, kind of toiletries, um, wallets, purses, um, but yeah, quite a bit. I'm just trying to find the one that I bought, because I think they do it in slightly different styles. Um, but yeah, kind of cute. Now I wonder where mine is. But I just thought they'd be quite nice as gifts, or just something that you want, which is obviously, a, you know, a lot more affordable really. Um, a lot of them on obviously leather and um, they're you know kind of plastic that's definitely got Louis Vuitton vibes but um, a bit cheaper but yeah it's quite a big room so you get an idea of the size um, quite a bit of choice and actually it's quite early in the day which is handy because um, it's a lot quieter so if you don't want kind of the hustle and bustle lots of kind of notepads stationery I do need to get a bit more stationery actually. Um, and then a couple of other bags in this section. The infamous teddies, which they're quite well known for. And this is 20 pounds, large teddy. And then you've got mini ones, which are 15 pounds, very soft. So these are just some very kind of, I guess, more touristy bags. I quite like this actually, foldable weekender bag. I quite like the fabric. It kind of reminds me of like the Dior tote bags. I think they did one in, um, I can't remember what it was called, but um, yeah, it kind of reminds me of that. Thank you. And then you can obviously get mugs, purses, um, other different types of bags, some more tote bags. And then there's a pink version, if you prefer the pink. And if you particularly want an apron or tea towels, if you come here. Oh, that's quite nice, that's quite a good size actually. Quite like that. It's got decent sized straps. I'm not sure how much that is. Let's just have a look. That is, let's have a look, that's 40 pounds. And then also um, there's gift wrapping on this level. So we're on the lower ground level. Uh, which is where the gift shop's based. It looks like there's some sale stuff. So some teddies and then some other bags. Um, quite a variety actually. And then some obviously with um, Queen Elizabeth, 12 pounds. In 2022, which I guess is why it's in the sale. <laughs> And then if you look around here, there's a lot of um, key rings as well. And I think if you came down here, you could also get the um, kind of biscuits and kind of cookies and stuff. Looks like they've also got the praline almonds. So it's not just bags and there's a bit of stationery. Again, aprons and tea towels. Here's some of the biscuits. So that's quite handy. It saves you kind of going to different levels but I still can't find the bag that I bought. I 
a bit of a shame. Um, oh, I can see it actually. So I can't remember how much I um, bought it for. I think it was about 40 or maybe 60 pounds, which on the grand scheme of things is still a bit, but um, let me have a look. Yeah, so it's 60 pounds. So I would definitely recommend this for something that is in a sense the same size as a Louis Vuitton Neverfall, but it's actually got a zip and uh, thicker straps. But um, I like the fact that you can get like a crossbody in the same design, which is kind of cool. That's kind of tempting. How much is that? Let's have a look. So that's 40 pounds, which is quite a bit smaller. If you look, it's quite a bit smaller. Um, but I kind of like the design. It's, I guess, very touristy. Um, but yeah, it's quite cool. That's £40. Well, that's quite expensive for what it is. Uh, this is kind of a mini version of what I've got. Again, quite handy. I wonder if this is 40 No, that's 50 Oh, I don't know if I'd spend £50. I quite like my tote one. I think it's called Landmarks. Um, Harrods bag. And again, it's got the Harrods image. But just to clarify, it's not um, leather. It's like pleather. But I don't know, I probably wouldn't get that as a crossbody, or would I? I don't know, maybe. I'm kind of now not sure. I do, the size is quite nice. But the reason I got mine is because I wanted to put my Mac in and the tote bag fits perfectly for my MacBook Air. And again, you can get a little rucksack, which is kind of cute. How much is the rucksack? That's 60 pounds as well. Maybe getting something like this, but maybe not in the same pattern, because it's just kind of duplicating a bit. Maybe a different pattern. But um, I never thought I'd kind of um, get a Harrods bag, actually, but so far I'm quite impressed with them, really. And kind of the longevity. So, lots of keen on those. Let's see if there's any others. Not quite keen on these colours, I must admit. The green's really nice. Oh look, you can get little um, picnic, you know, drinking bottles, picnic baskets. Look at that picnic basket. That's very bougie. Definitely gives me kind of Fortnum and Mason vibes. And this one as well, actually. I'm not quite sure how much that is. It doesn't say. Oh, it says don't touch. Whoops. Let's not touch just and get into trouble. Oh, here's the prices. So, this one is, let's have a look. Oh, it doesn't say, that's a bit weird. So this is 35 pounds. Does this have a price on? No. Hmm. Some things don't have a price on. Gosh, sure, for a minute I thought that said Nando's, but yeah, it's Harrods. <laughs> Maybe not Nando's. <laughs> Maybe it's because I'm hungry. And then they've got various mugs, more teddies. Very cute mugs, actually. Look how sweet this is. How cute. Really cute. That is £12. You could kind of make like little desserts out of those. There's a little pink one. If you like the pink, very cool. And then yeah, lots of stationery, pens, ooh, umbrellas. I do like my Fortner and Mason umbrella, to be honest. I think I paid about 25 pounds for it. More teddies, oh, those are cute actually. Little Harrods teddy, that's 30 pounds. And then you've got like the, um, <laughs> it's quite funny. That is, that's 30 pounds as well. So you can have a little, little beat bobby. Um, but yeah, if you're into teddies, you might like these. And then you've got the umbrellas, which are again, 25 pounds, which I think is the same amount I paid for my Fortner and Mason one. 
I quite like them with like a bit of a handle as well. They're 30 pounds. Um, but yeah, not too bad. And you definitely need an umbrella in the UK because it basically pisses it down regularly. <laughs> it's currently the summer in the UK and it's been raining loads. These are quite nice actually. I do like my Liberty um, diary. I never thought to come down here to check out the diaries actually. And notebooks. It's quite cool if you're into that kind of thing. That's £15. Quite a cute little diary for 2024. Looks like they do a um, bit of a section in the gift shop for kiddies, I guess because of the teddy bears and things. Um, you can get kind of a little water bottle with Paddington. Maybe it's some kind of collab. So I'm not sure that's £20. A bit different. I obviously won't be um, getting any baby things, but um, if you like that kind of thing. And then you've also got, which I saw in, I think it was in the food food haul. I'll uh, link that blog in the um, description bar below and in the card in the corner. But these are quite good. Leather trim, quite nice, quite chunky. These are quite cute if you like key rings and teddy bears. So how much are these? I think they're 12 pounds. Super cute, oh, a little Scottish one. Jointed Piper. Guardsman. What? Little Westy dog, that's quite cute. So if you like that kind of thing, you don't want to necessarily buy a big bear, you can get a little mini, little mini one. Beef eater, <laughs> that's quite funny. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I thought it'd be nice to kind of check out the Harrods gift shop as its own video, just because it's actually quite large and there's quite a lot to do. But um, let me know if you guys have been here or if you knew that it even existed, because it is actually on the lower ground floor. So it's not that like, easy to find, to be honest. Um, but yeah, thanks ever so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.